Hello everybody, welcome back to an extremely loud episode of the Pokemon Red Randomizer Nuzlocke race. Um, yeah, this episode is getting kind of, uh, wild and loud already. There we go. Anyway, in this episode we're gonna beat Giovanni, and we're gonna go to the Pokemon Tower and probably beat that as well. Anyway, did I already beat you? Yeah, boss, sorry I failed you. There you go. So, anyway, uh, we may as well just hit up a team recap, because why not? The team hasn't changed much, but hey, we may as well. Uh, we've got Empress, our Need Arena, with Poison Sting, Stomp, Tackle, and Acid Armor. Excuse me. Holding the demons away. We've got, we've got, uh, we've got Cut, our, oh, Cut. Hope, our Flareon, with Ember, Tackle, Quick Attack, and uh, Cut. There you go. That's what it's meant for. We've got Clarice, our Jolteon. We've got Flareon and Jolteon with Thundershock, Quick Attack, Tackle, and Thunder Wave. Uh, we've got Extra Thick, who can't fly here because he, along with Fly, has Headbutt, Fire Punch, and Amnesia. Yeah. Uh, we've got P our Ivysaur uh, with Vine Whip, Poison Powder, Leech Seed, and Dream Eater. And finally, we've got Sploosh, our Slowbro, with Bubble Beam, Confusion, Headbutt, and Growth. I, I, I can't, I cannot begin to tell you just how much I love Sploosh. But anyway, we're gonna stick Petey in the front slot because I need to give Petey some experience. Uh, we're just gonna blast into this as fast as humanly possible, so let's go, 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 go. There you go. Shut up, my guy. My, my guy. There you go. Bleep. Omastar. Oh, well, I'm glad I switched into this dude, bro. Vine whip. Oh. Withdraw. I don't care. You're dead. You're dead, Omastar. You're dead to me. There we go. I'm also gonna try to focus on Petey today. Who <laughs> Petey is just gonna... Petey is just gonna wreck this rocket, man. He's gonna wreck him. Arr! Please, another water type. Give me these. Kabudops. That's also water rock. Absorb. Okay, does no damage. Just one damage. Arr! Quad weak. Petey is a monster who cannot be stopped. Petey is a monster who cannot be stopped. Burned again. So there we go. Here comes Giovanni. Oh, we just talked to him. We just straight talked to Giovanni. Well, I'm excited to get the show on the road. Alright, there you go. Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! There you go. I just want to get this stuff over with before I even bother. Pincer, level 25. Uh, okay. You're a bug type. I'm not gonna deal with you. Let's go to Extra Thick! Seismic Dawes does 25 damage. It's not gonna be very much damage. Not gonna be very much damage. I didn't... I meant to fly! I meant to fly up into the sky. I mean, Headbutt probably would do a lot of damage. But, like... I feel like I'm about to die. Like, just, just, just... Guard spec. Isn't that supposed to protect against crits? Okay. There it is. I I believe we've seen every single legend now. Uh, mm, mm, uh, uh, oh. Ooh, that those are the nerves getting damaged right here. Okay, level 24. Thank God this is your highest level. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, your speed fell. That that's good. That that that's good. That's good. We're gonna go Clarice. Headbutt. Alright. How much damage? Not enough. Alright, there we go. Thunder shock. Please. Take it out. Fuck. Alright, please. Do I want a super potion? I, I have to super potion. There's no way I'm not gonna super potion. 
Okay, alright Mew, I see what you're going- I see what you're going for here. I see the games you're trying to play. I see the strats you're trying to use. Alright, does 20 damage. So, a Thundershock's probably gonna leave it on one. Or not. Oh, a CRIT! Clarice should be a crit monster, now that I think about it. There you go. Poliwhirl. Uh, PD can take care of that. Level 29! A level 29 Poliwhirl. Please don't have this blow up on my face. I was about to say have it blow up in my face, but... Uh-oh. Stop it. I don't like this. I don't like it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it right now. I hate sleep. I hate sleep. I hate it! This is what I get for not buying antidotes. I can't sit here for five goddamn turns because a 50% accurate move landed. That, that's it. How does the AI magically cheese this kind of stuff? Meanwhile, I'm sitting here, not allowed to attack. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, I was getting hit by crit double slaps. Alright, there you go. Only reason I was concerned in the first place. There you go. Come on! <laughs> Come on, Petey. Just wake up. You can kill him in one more hit. Just kill him. <laughs> Thank you. Get dicked. <sighs> that didn't even level him up. Alright, there you go. All right, you shall step aside, grab the silk scope, and we're gonna move on with our day. So anyway, I'm gonna take the cautious approach because there's another rocket. Oh, a guard spec. Oh, okay, so he used 7,000 guard specs, so that's why there's that one. Uh, okay, uh, I'm not gonna be an idiot about this. Uh, I'm actually gonna save time by going to B2F. Because you literally just go through a few speed panels and yet you skip a battle. That's it. That thing could. The next rocket guy at the end, end of that doorway could have like a fucking Mewtwo or something. Like, I'm not gonna risk it for a biscuit. Like, I, I, I love biscuits, but like, no, I'm not risking it. There you go. So now we can definitely go to the Pokemon Tower. Now we can definitely just clear that whole place. Clear it shop. Clear the whole thing down. And then probably uh, start hammering away at the gym. That's what I'm... So basically I'm just going to be battling a bunch. So my lead is definitely getting a whole, a whole lot uh, heftier. Uh, should I worry about these items? Here we go. Uh, let's, let's, let's address the items. Let's address the item situation, because... God damn it, items. Items, items, items. What the fuck do you do about these items? Alright, we're definitely gonna sell the revive, we're gonna deposit the lift key, uh, we're gonna deposit... No. We're just gonna ha keep the bike and the silk scope on hand, but we're gonna sell them in lavender. When I fly over there, on my big ol' pile of awesome. Also known as a- also known as a gosh dang Snorlax. Dude, it's Snorlax just flapping his arms as fast as he- as he can. Were you all starting to die inside? I was kinda relishing the moment. Whatever. Alright. Guard spec, nobody gives a shit. Nope! I don't want to sell antidotes. I don't want to sell that. Fire spin? Gimme. Give Gimme give the money. Gimme the cash. I'd rather get the cash over that. Alright, buying! There are no awakenings here. God damn it. Can I start buying full heals? I think they're in Saffron. Uh, alright. So how many Great Balls do we have? Uh, about 12 Great Balls. That should carry me up until Fuchsia, I believe. And then we have one Super Potion. So let's buy... About nine, just just to carry us from, just to carry us from the first half of Pokemon Tower. Beep boop. 
Vindab! I'm not reading your dialogue this time, you fuck. I was about to try to do the voice, but I didn't want to. Didn't want to fall for that. Cubone. I guess. Dude, Vindab, you're such a nice guy. You just give me things to destroy. Although if it lives, it can bone club me. What am I talking about? Kabudops. Petey. Petey. His name is Petey. And he will show you no mercy. There you go. Dratini. Uh, do we have an ice type move? I don't think so. I don't think so. But anyway, this is a job for a big old blobby guy. So that's why we're going to send in extra fit. Headbutt this thing. Ah! I crush these little bastards for days. There you go. Clefable. Oh, these things have sing. Alright, uh, let's just head about it. God! Herg! Metronome and his self destruct. Oh, thank God, Bone Meringue missed. Okay. Please eat it up, eat it up, eat it up. There you go. Come on. Sleep. Sleep is the absolute worst. I keep getting cheesed by it. Look at this shit. I get stuck in for four, five, six turns. All right, there's no way. There's no way I'm hitting this thing anymore. Plus four evasion. Uh-oh. Oh my god. I just gotta make it to the heel pad. That's all we gotta do. All right. So no matter what it metronomes into, it should be fine. Bone club. It can't land its ground type attacks or anything. No! <laughs> I hate this game. Thank you, crit. Fuck. All right, plus five. Our metronome in the slash again. Yes. Fuck Clefable in this game. Fuck Clefable. Nine tails. All right, give Sploosh an easy, easy experience. Easy. Throw some bubbles at it. Look at this quick attack. Oh, oh, little poor Nine Tails trying to do his little thing. Well, guess what? Fuck you! Oh, poor Nine Tails. I wish you could be much more appreciative. But no, you're not. You're a little piece of fuck. You have a Q bone. You had a Q bone. You had a Q-Bone! <laughs> I'm not gonna stop iterating that you had a Q-Bone! Hello, mistress. Alright, here we go. So, we're gonna get an encounter. I'm not battling this lady. Alright, so our Lavender Tower encounter is... Uh, Goldine. Oh. Why can I... Get, when can I get something that's not a water type? Like, not water type. You know what? If I have to deal with something that's been annoying me to sleep, sleep this whole time, I should just T-wave it with Clarice. Because usually, Clarice outspeeds stuff. So I should just do that. Alright. So it seems that does a third of his health. So, I don't know. We're just going to grateful. This should be an instant capture. There's no way. There you go. We have Sploosh, so I'll name you Splish. Because 
You know what Goldeen does in Smash Brothers? It, it, uh, it flops around like a useless fish. And hand it out. I only had one, so thank you. Free experience, please. There you go. Free experience, please. <laughs> Stupid channelers. Uh, if I could just start getting an Erica's gym, that'd be nice. Do I have PD in the front? Clarice. Okay. That's fine. That's fine as well. That's good, too! You're dead now! <laughs> You're dead now! Oh, I'm saved! <laughs> All these channelers are so weird. Uh, yeah, I may as well just work on people one at a time, honestly. Because... So... Unless crap starts going down, alright, then, you know, I'll switch, I'll do switch training, but for the most part, it should just be solos. Oh. Oh. Oh no, nobody's, nobody except Sploosh can handle these. Okay, trying to hold back pain. There you go. Look, I've got to use the attack hold back. I've got to use hold back. It ain't in this game, but I've got to use it. <laughs> Jack! Should I spray the repel? I could have a pincer. Come on! Pincer would have been ten times better than Goldeen. My guy. Quack! There you go. Are you... Do you think this is shit getting Aurora Beam? I'm about to risk it. Yeah, they got gonna roar a beam, all right. Okay, it's fine. I killed it. <laughs> it's fine. I killed it. Whatever. Okay. It's all right. Mental note: Cloyster definitely has a roar beam, so you don't fuck with them. Electric types only, because later on they're probably gonna get ice beam and they'll fuck my shit up. There you go. Honestly, at this point, I want to say PD is my starter, because it just fits, you know? Alright, you know what? I'll take, I'll take, uh, Goldeen over using Nicola again. This thing's probably just gonna have Poison Sting, right? Pardon. I love how, even with, this move is physical? What? Huh? How is it? What? Excuse me, what? How is Cocoon? Oh, oh. Um. Let me tell you guys something. There ain't no physical special split in this game. Grass is a special type attack. So, theoretically, Kakuna should have been taking the same amount of damage every time, right? If not, then what the hell? <laughs> then what the actual fuck? Uh, yeah. I mean, let's just go to Sploosh for the type effectiveness. This it? This ain't... Okay. Fine, fine. If you were just gonna go for Wrath, then I made the good choice, because I only take two damage per her. Tur two. Ha! Ha! Thank you for just leering me. Thank you. This thing showed mercy for Christ's sake. There you go. Kakuna. Kakuna! Alright, we're gonna actually do a good play here and go to hope. There you go. They're evenly matched. However, I believe one of them is definitely going to trump the other. Who would have guessed it? <laughs> Anyone who bet money on that Kakuna is a fucking brain dead moron. There you go. A repel. Alright, so I'm pretty sure the heel pad is in this one is on this floor. Or is it on the next one? Jet! No! Yep. That's what I get for jumping the gun, right? Instead of getting blastoise, I get fucking I get Goldeen. Now the only reason I'm killing this Blastoise is because I know I'll get, get hella experience from it. Right? There's 600. Alright, so the heel pad is in this floor. That's literally the only reason I'm here right now. 
Oh, wait. Oh, she doesn't battle you. Right, right, right. There you go. Your Pokemon are fully healed. There you go. So now I can just hop back down here and grab the items I missed. Jet! Give me another Blastoise. Oh! I could add Venusaur, too! God! <sighs> what are with all these final evolved starters? Like, come on! Arbok! Okay, Arbok's not that good. <laughs> but... God damn it, every one of these things I've found so far is better than Goldeen! Alright, I found an Ultra Ball and an Aether. Uh, let's battle this chick. I need the levels. I, I need these levels. I need them. Even if I don't get the Pokey Flute in this video, I need the levels. Because at that point, I can get the Pokey Flute and then just hop over to Erica's gym and not even have to face all the gym trainers. Because Petey, Petey has been getting critted. That's also a crit. Okay, just just so that we're on the same page, uh, Petey almost died. Because Tauros is a sack of shit. <laughs> there you go. Pidgeot! Oh, these are final evolutions! Like... Mm. I got Goldeen! <laughs> I got Goldeen! Not... Son of a bitch, man. Okay, hold on. Time wasting. Uh... Actually... Do we count the Marowak as static? Isn't it always Marowak? If it's always Marowak, then I'll kill it. But if it's not always Marowak, then I'll catch it. If this is randomized to something different, because the Marowak is always there. So technically it's a static encounter. So there you go. Clefable. Oh no, I'm not dealing with your bullshit today! 5 damage. You're not doing any damage! It's like you're slapping a slab of beef! Alright, there you go. Metronome. In the barrage. Stop it with the multi-hit moves! <laughs> it's giving me all the longest animations possible. I have 8 minutes! Okay, even even if I can't hit this thing, the leech seed is going off. Alright, fuck you, Clefable. So there we go. That that's that's teamwork. That's teamwork. See, Petey Petey went to just he needed a little nap. He he needed a nap. And that's a polywhirl. Or a polywrath, rather. Sorry. I would love to fight it, except my goddamn grass type is asleep. Doesn't it actually... Doesn't he get psychic moves by default? Wow. A Firestone. I'll take it. That's actually really good. That's really good. Uh, sure, I'll battle this chick. Give me your soul. Evil. Evil! There you go. Nidoran female. Okay. So we just get to kill her former self, which, uh, I don't feel confident in going into anybody. Let's have, let's have Empress squash upon her younger self. <laughs> Look at that. Stomp on it! <laughs> Stomp on it! <laughs> Poison sting is gonna do nothing. Stomp on it! <laughs> Empress hates herself. Gasp. Gasp. Gasp! What the fuck? 
Sandshrew. Okay, I would have been frankly disappointed with Sandshrew, so, I mean... That always happens to me in dungeons! When you have multiple floors of different encounters, for some reason, I always get, like, the worst possible thing! Oh, not this again! I'm not... I'm not doing this again! Come on! I'm not doing this again! God damn it, man. Alright, just spam Thundershock and we'll be good. Don't you dare go for Drill Pack. Oh, there it is. Whoop, there it is! Whoop, there it is! Alright, don't get a crit. Do not get a crit. Don't get a crit. There you go. Thank you. Okay, extra thick got the level. <laughs> is this real life? This is the most stacked channeler in the world! A level 22 Mewtwo? Are you kidding me? I'm setting up growths on this idiot. Alright. <laughs> I mean... Don't disable growth. Don't disable growth. Alright. Disable confusion. I wasn't even planning to use confusion. Alright, so I got plus two special. Oh, let's throw a bubble beam and see how much damage it does. Okay, that was a crit. Probably gonna need more and more. Blah, blah, blah. Gonna need to use one more of those. I'm pretty much locked this thing into spamming Swift. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do for Mewtwo's. Uh, because both Confusion and Psychic won't do any damage, because yes, this does have Psychic. But then I can just use special raises with this man. There you go. Dude, Sploosh can handle the... He can handle single-handedly the best Pokemon in the game. A Persian. Go... You know what? No, I'm not even... I'm, I'm gonna keep... I'm gonna keep my special. I'm gonna keep my special attacks. This is stupid. This is stupid. You have Zapdos, Mewtwo, and Persian. You have three of some of the best Pokemon in the whole game. Alright, we're one level away for Sploosh to be equal with Erica's ace. I like that. Groan. If this gives me the Pokey Flute, I'm leaving. I'm actually gonna leave. Like, I'll legit just leave. Alright, there you go. That's Petey's job. This is the work of Petey. It's primary poison? God damn it, man! Okay, it only does two health. At the very least, it only does two health. I mean, no matter how much progress I make, I'm not going to be that upset if I don't actually, you know, get up to where I want to be. Poison Sting, thank you. Wow, I also take priority poison. What the hell? <laughs> A soda pop. Alright. I can shove that down extra thick throat, I'm pretty sure. Yes, I can. There you go. So, confirmed, uh, Soda Pop equals Super Potion. That's basically what it is. There you go. There you go. Nine Ninetales. Alright, we got a starter duel right here. Except guess who's not participating? He, that's who. She, he ain't participating for shit. We're going to Sploosh. There you go. Blah, blah, blah. Roar don't work in battle, son. <laughs> Yeah, doesn't Roar just straight- Roar and what, Whirlwind straight don't do anything in battle? So, they basically just fuck themselves. They cut themselves. Alright, so now Petey's level 30, and he's trying to learn Razor Leaf. Yes! Thank you, God! Thank you, God. Alright. I'm pretty sure he's not gonna learn Sleep Powder anytime soon. Well, actually, no, he- Petey definitely learns Sleep Powder by level up. He just learns it really late for some reason. He learns it really damn late. Alright, never mind. I tried to skip. Maybe I could get to the Marowak. It'd be nice if I could get to the Marowak, because I could cheese it. Part of the my one state of hate. Alright, so there's the Meowth. Meowth! There you go. Yeah, Razor Leaf. Not as fast of an animation as, um... Vine Whip. But it does more damage than Vine Whip. I'm pretty sure. And it has high crit ratio, right? 
Yeah, it has high crit ratio because Magical Leaf doesn't miss. So, there you go. And Magical Leaf ain't in this game! So there you go. A rare candy. Yo, 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 yo. Yo, yo, yo. We, there, there's no games to be played. Alright, so we got a static encounter right here. Uh, we could probably take on one of the rockets. Maybe. If this Marowak is willing to comply. Be gone, intruders! So our static Marowak encounter is the ghost. Which is actually... A <laughs> Filed under species. Filed under species. Get out of here. Get out of my face. I already have a Gyarados. Fuck that shit. <laughs> so yeah, that is a static encounter. It's crazy. Alright, uh, should we let Clarice take care of this, or should we get Petey up to level 31? Screw it. Let's get Petey all the way up there. Let's get Petey up there. Shit! Alright, Nidorino. Still would have preferred Nidorino over Nidorina, but whatever. Run away. Run away! Alright, so there we go. So anyway, I'm just gonna stop the timer prematurely because... Because, uh... I'm probably gonna be here for six hours. HOW AM I- HOW DO I CALL THESE THINGS?! HOW DO I- mm. Of course. Of course I know I'm gonna be here for seven hours. Clarice, how much special do you have? 64, hot damn. Dude, Clarice is actually getting really strong. We just need Thunderbolt. That's all we really need. Sploosh has 65. So, yeah, switching into Clarice wouldn't be that bad, actually, because Sploosh is weakened. And of course it's gonna go for a fire spin. Oh my god, no way. That's too much damage. Arvo or faster. Okay. Yes! Double yes! Even if it clicks fire spin, we'll be able to leave it. We'll be able to leave it. We'll be able to live it. There we go. Please, please, please. It's gonna live on one. Yes! Good job, Clarice! Taking this Moltres down! Blast always. We're going into PD for this. Because Clarice is too damn injured. They are Razor Leaf. I'm glad I learned Razor Leaf. Finally. Took him a while to get something better than Bind Whip. That still doesn't Oko Blastoise. Well, then again, how are you supposed to Oko Blastoise? <laughs> you probably could Oko Blastoise with something. Soul Rabine. Soul Rabine might do it. But does he learn Ice Beam? I don't know if Blastoise learns Ice Beam. Speaking of ice! <laughs> God. And this thing actually does get Ice Beam. It has Ice Beam. There it is right there. I'm pretty sure Hope's dead. I'm pretty sure Hope's dead. There's no way she's living. Dude, Hope! Please. No, no, no. We need this burn. We need the burn. We need the burn. We need it. Critical hit. No burn. All right, please. Don't get a crit on me back. Thank you. Yes! Most insane rocket battle ever. Just fuck... Dude, come on. I'm not going to forget this. But there we go. That's all the time we have for this episode. Uh, however, the thing is, I've got these uh, potions. Uh, you're getting blasted with it. Uh, duh. Uh, extra Thick and Empress are fine. I don't know about Sploosh and Petey. I kind of don't want to, but... For Sploosh, it's kind of worrying because... Eh. I mean, I guess Extra Thick could benefit from it, so, yeah. But for Empress, I don't really care. <laughs> I mean, honestly, up until we find a Moonstone, I really don't care. Should I just uh, shove the Rare Candy in his throat? Should I just do it? I mean, how much experience do you have? 1,800. So that's like a few battles. With good Pokemon. And you're at 2,000. So definitely I'm going to keep Petey in the front slot. Clarice, you're probably bound to level up soon. 
Yeah. And then Hope just leveled up, so that'd be several thousand. Extra Thick is... Wow. His EXP gain is gonna start getting crazy. No, I didn't mean to... Alright. Wow. And then you're... Eh, somewhere in the middle. But whatever. That'll be it for today's episode of the Pokemon Red Randomizer Nuzlocke Race. Uh, I've been having so much fun with this game. Uh, technically I've only missed one encounter now because of that Magikarp, which really I don't care. So. Because I bought a Gyarados. Who cares? But anyway, that is it. Uh, next time on the Pokemon Red Randomizer Nuzlocke race, I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to get through the rest of Lavender Tower. We're going to hop down over to Celadon City and take on the gym. And then train. A lot. Because that's when the levels spike, spike, and spike. <laughs> because Koga, level 43. Sabrina, level 40-something. I don't remember. Let's look that level up so that I can rant about it. Pokey Earth. Kanto. Saffron City. Gen 1 Anchor. Also level 43. Okay. Blaine. Pretty sure he has a level 54. Am I right? Am I right? Blaine has a level 48. Wow, that's actually not a big... So, the biggest spike is Koga. Like, that's the biggest spike, is from Erica to Koga. And then Giovanni should have a level 50-something, but then again, he's supposed to have a level 50. He has a level 50. So, there you go. So, I think the... And then the Elite Four. I don't know how much the Elite Four have to offer. I mean, let me look at Victory Road to get a grasp of what the levels are like. Well, if you got everybody up to the 50s, then you should be able to fight those things. So, it really wouldn't hurt you. Well, except for that level 48, which could be pure death. But I probably won't fight all the trainers in Victory Road, because I'm a little bitch. And then Indigo Plateau, uh, we can look and see the trainers. 56, 58, 60, 62, 65. So they kept the, the level progression the same in yellow. Huh. That's interesting. Color me impressed. All right. Well, there you go. I guess we'll just end it on a muted game. <laughs> All right, I'll see y'all next time. Only you can prevent forest fires.